Good evening, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. Welcome to NCR. I wanted to do this. This was actually yesterday's play of the day, and I just didn't have time to do the video yesterday because I was getting ready for the class for today. And I wanted to do this review because it was a really, really nice gap. And there was a ton of good gaps, actually, on Friday. And, you know, my rating system told me that this was one of the special ones to watch. It had a great risk reward trade in it. And it actually went to what I would consider the dream target. This is a watch for lower. Now, I don't know if this does this right away on Monday, but I gotta tell you, it could. I mean, this absolutely could continue lower on Monday. I wouldn't be surprised if it gaps down again or gaps and opens like neutral and falls. So, you know, the idea of my system is to look for, number one, a quality stock pick that's going to have the right directional bias in the day. For me, I like the shorts. And then second of all, I want something that's going to have a good risk to reward. Now, you don't know if a stock's going to go to the target, and you certainly don't know if it's going to go to the dream target. The rating system helps you. The momentum that comes into the stock on the day and how it sets up into the open, which I often see in the gaps. And also, what helps you is... Being able to determine the quality of the setups and the ratings. So if the stock rates 20 points or more, I know it's going to have a trade that has a setup that's going to give me the potential for the risk to reward. Again, you don't know until the stock opens and trades live, but that's why you have to know what to watch so you give yourself the opportunity to take the trade when it sets up. Because if you don't know what to watch, you're never going to get the trade, and you're never going to get the entry, and then you're never going to get the size and never going to get the right price to get the good risk reward. So you got to know what to watch, and that's why the rating system counts. This is kind of wiggly jiggly, but you could have actually aggressively done this here. Dropped off. Now, I did this here. There was an ad here. Stop here. I mean, this is absolutely perfect. Breaks and drops. And look at this move. This is actually more than a dollar. From here, it's a dollar, and from here, it's a dollar ten. I mean, this is a really, 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 really beautiful trade. And this, this is your day, actually. This, you could do this and just go home. And at the time of the day when this is over, it's 9.50. You could roll back into bed if you want to. From the time the stock set up and it was done, it was less than 10 minutes. You'd go back to bed. <laughs> or you could retake a trade in it. But the point is that it was such a hard move with such great risk to reward that that's your day. Now, as it turns out, the stock continued. The, the area in here where it was got down to was around 3235, which was the first target. It actually went all the way down to 3170. It actually went another 60 cents from here where the first runoff is. But this immediate move is great. And you can see it here in the 15 minute. Look at this. First bar of the day, second bar of the day. I mean, this is fantastic. I love this kind of setup and I love this kind of weakness. So you can watch NCR for file through next week. If not next week, eventually. A nice break in this chart here, nice gap, and beautiful, beautiful risk to reward. And, and I love it when it has an ad real quick too like that, and the confirmation, and the time of the day and everything it does. And again, I've talked about this before. I'll briefly say this one last thing that, you know, you you have to understand what you're doing with, the, with your stock. I love candlesticks, and they tell me what's happening with the price, and they're indicators, but... Eventually, the price is what really tells you what's going on here, nothing else. If you're trying to buy this in a buy set up here or here, you got stopped out here. The stock was not a buy. If you looked at this as a buy in here on this miniature time frame, you, you got creamed. Whether you have to stop here or here to see the, where the drip off happened. Now, why would someone try to buy this? Who knows? I mean, I would never try to buy this because it's a bearish gap and it rated more than 20 points for my system, so I know that it was good gap to short. But there are people that try to buy things like this. Why? First of all, the market was rallying on the day. Second of all, do you see where this actually opened here into this area? So people are going to think, well, this is going to hold with the market here into this area. But the fact is it's a bearish gap that rated over 20 points for my system, so I'm not going to do anything but short it. It's a short. It's a huge short, by the way. And look at the length of that bar. Actually, it's pretty nice. Look, more than $2, about $2.30. And one of the biggest bars in here, now this is the biggest. 
This is almost four bucks. But this is pretty good over here. And it was a really nice short. And what, I just love those trades that set up quick like that. Oh my gosh, if I could have a trade like that every day, every day if I could have a trade like that that goes, I can make the kind of money in five minutes, 10 minutes, I, I would just go back to bed at 10 o'clock every day. <laughs> well, I'm running the room, but you know, but you could. You could have you take the class and trade with me and just decide to go back to bed. But it's a great trade and a beautiful gap. And was the stocks with show play of the day on Friday? Great trade to close out the week. Close out the week. Earnings season is just getting going here. Gosh, there's so many earnings in the next month. February is a great month to trade. First of all, people are stuck inside. This cold, it's where there's a snowstorm every three days. And there's a lot of people that like to trade and they're stuck in the house and they're doing it. And it's a time of the year to get in stuff, to take longs, to sell out of shorts, to short the stocks that they don't want to be in. People are in stuff. The market's rallying now. They're in stuff. It's not performing. They're not going to hold back from dumping the stock. They say, wait a minute. Why am I in this thing? Why am I in NCR long when I should be in Netflix long? Let me just sell out of NCR and get in Netflix. Okay, fine. And so you see, you see, this is what people are thinking. You have to think about what people are thinking to do with their money. And they're not going to stick with stocks that are not performing. They're going to dump them. And that's when I come in with the short in the gap. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. Have a great weekend, everybody. Great job today for the people that do the Golden Gap class today. Fantastic. Great day. Have a wonderful, safe weekend, everybody. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you'd like more information. I'm doing a live event in New York City, February 16th. It's actually a week from tomorrow. A live event where I'm going to go over the stock swoosh, the pattern. There's also going to be a, a seminar on taxes for traders, which is great, too. It's a free event. It's in New York. It's actually in my building. In my building, a beautiful, beautiful business center. And we're going to have refreshments, and you're going to get to mingle with other traders, and you're going to get to meet me. So if you're interested or live in the tri-state city area in the northeast and are interested in coming to the webinar, the free lecture that's in my building in Manhattan, February 16th, it starts at 1 o'clock, email me. The deadline is Thursday. To sign up for it if you want to come, Thursday would be the absolute latest that I'd have to get you signed up for it. All names must be registered. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night.